Hello, my name is Fennel Patel and I am a Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, we are going to explore how to get started with Firewall Manager. AWS Firewall Manager is a security management service used to centrally configure and manage security policies across your AWS accounts and applications in AWS organizations. To begin using AWS Firewall Manager, you must enable AWS Organizations, AWS Config on all of your accounts under AWS Organizations, and lastly, designate an account as the Firewall Manager Administrator. A good practice would be to use an account that you use to manage security services. So let's go ahead and switch over to AWS Console to quickly complete the prerequisites. On the AWS console, navigate to AWS Organizations and click on Create an Organization. Now click on Add an AWS Account. Here you have the options to create an AWS account or invite any existing AWS accounts. Once this step has completed, head over to AWS con Config Console and press one click Setup button. And press Confirm here. And for the last step, visit WAF and Shield. And on the left, you will see a Getting Started section on AWS Firewall Manager. Click Get Started. Provide the ID of the AWS account that you would like to set as Firewall Manager Administrator account. And that's it. Let's switch back to the PowerPoint. With AWS Firewall Manager, you can centrally configure policies for application and network services like Web Application Firewall, Shield Advanced, VPC Security Groups, Network Firewall, and RAP53 Resolver DNS Firewall. This allows you to easily associate policies to your resources and accounts that are part of AWS organizations. You can adjust the scope of your policies to protect only specific resources based on tags and apply it to individual accounts or organizational unit as a whole which would apply policies to all accounts within it and any future accounts added to it. To apply protection automatically, you can choose the option to auto-remediate any non-compliant resources at policy level. On the other hand, if you want to simply get visibility into non-compliant resources, you can choose the option to identify those resources that do not comply with your policy. This way, the policy will not auto-remediate on your behalf. In the next video, we will create a sample web application firewall and shield advance policy in the console. For now, I hope this short video was useful to you to quickly get started with AWS Firewall Manager. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more and happy cloud computing.